and thank you to Glisten for inviting me to take part in the Respect Awards. Ten-year-olds are not often given a forum to express their and I appreciate this opportunity. Since my realization that the promises of the Pledge of Allegiance were actually not extended to all American citizens, I have learned more about how lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered people are denied the basic freedoms that all other Americans take for granted. But my generation will be the change. When Proposition 8 passed in California, nearly 60% of vote, voters aged 18 through 25 voted to strike down the discriminatory legislation. And I know that if such a measure were to be put on the ballot, those numbers would increase as young people like myself have the opportunity to express their opinions, not only in their schools and in the media, but also in the voting booth. And with Glisten leading the charge to create a world where difference is valued for the positive contributions it makes to our diverse society, change is in sight. Making, last, uh, sorry. Making lasting change, making lasting change takes courage and leadership. The courage and leadership of organizations like Glisten as well as individuals like our next guest. Over the past couple of weeks, she has demonstrated incredible courage and leadership. Before I bring her out on stage, let's take a look at her story. 